Welcome to Conversations, Cocktails, and Connections. I'm Amy Hester. I am Emily Reeves, and I'm ready for a drink. Are you ready for a drink? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have an elderflower rosé spritzer. How does that sound? It sounds delicious. Ooh, I see you went to Rocktown and got elderflower. Well, I just went to the liquor store. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> so I got there, elderflower. We still have a tinge left of the other, but mm-hmm. I was anxious to use this. Because they won an award. Because they won an award. And so um, I went looking for some recipes that would be able to use it. To uh, so. fancy your palate. To fancy your palate. And one of the things I saw was... Can I smell? Yeah. Was... Um, Adding a splash of elderflower mm. liqueur to your um, like champagne or your sparkling or your bubblies or whatever, just to give it a little uh, extra. And that I thought that was a great did idea. Did we not already do that in a? Um, no. Are you sure? Is that the only? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. But maybe. I mean, I maybe. I feel like we have with a. Um, it was almost like a. Like a uh, kind of like a uh, French seventy five, but it had elderflower bubbly and. Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe I I thought I did a search in our database and so I didn't funny, see that. Or maybe I just had it at a bar. Um, I don't know. Well, but there is a um, I've got to count. Hold on, okay, sir. There is I do have a recipe for um a twist on the French seventy five using. I should have stopped. Using gin, uh, bubbly rosé, and elderflower. Okay. Which I don't think we've made yet, but no. Okay. Um, but I've we have made a lot of drinks, and mm-hmm. I have forgotten more things than. Well, I went somewhere on Saturday, and they had on the menu a Empress gin elderflower. They called it something else, like a French seventy five. I don't remember mm-hmm. what the name was. And it was, but, but using the Empress Gin, which is that purple gin, which is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, and it it needed, I'm not going to say where it was, it was local. Um, and I, I think that it would have been better. And this is, you're going to laugh because it has to do with, it was not cold. I had to ask for ice. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it. Like not even when you first took a drink. It was like, it needed like that, like, chill... Like a, so what was it? It was it a, was it was a it was like a French seventy five, which I know you can't sh- you can't shake champagne, right? Um, but it had elderflower, empress gin, uh huh, bubbly, and um, Saint Germain elderflower. Liqueur. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. It's a great concept. It was pretty. I mean, <gasps> oh, look what we did again. This time it was me. And that's been sitting there for like 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh, my God. I'm a little little bit worried about the microphones, but we'll clean it up here in a minute. That was a party foul on my part a long, long time ago. (laughs) Makes me never want, because it was one of these plastic bottles, too. Makes me never want to buy one of these plastic bottles again. Do we um, garnish with this? Garnish with a lemon slice. It looks yummy and scrumptious. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Very refreshing. It is refreshing. It's it's very light. Yes, it's very light. It's not like alky heavy. No, like I think you could ha- almost have a little bit more elderflower. Maybe, maybe you can. Like maybe I you can dress it up here in the th- when we do the cleanup. Yeah, I, mean, I probably won't, but we'll we'll clean up. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Holla, holla, holla! It's another rainy night in Little Rock. It's rainy, and I had no idea. I did not watch the news um, last night. Mm-hmm. Actually, I actually don't watch the news at all at night, but um, I, I definitely did not know that it was going to rain. I mean, I think I knew it was going to rain because we just look at the weather all the time. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm tired of it. Me too. I think it's supposed to be really nice this weekend. Yes. Um, or at least at least Friday and Saturday. I don't think on Sunday it's going to be nice. You know, last Sunday, which was Easter, um, I this is terrible, and I know 
people that go to church regularly regularly on Easter or do Easter. So I did not do anything. <laughs> I spent it in the bed with my dogs. I don't think there's anything it wrong with that. So it's so funny because it I went down outside. to mm-hmm. I would I would get up and I would go and like sit in the chair and like watch TV and I'm like, you know what? I'd be a little bit more comfortable in the bed. <laughs> well, we had to go do Easter with uh, Matthew's family, which I mean, I was glad to do, but we did sure. it pretty early because uh, one of his family members had to get back on the road by like noon. Oh, that's um, early. That, yeah, that's really early. So we did it like at 930. And um, so I think, well, all right, well, well, what else? You have half the day left over. I know. I know. Sometimes that's a good thing. I know. But um, yeah, Matt was out of town. Oh, yeah, that's why um, he went camping, He went, he went out of town and to... Um, Remind me, I've got to tell you something about that. Uh, with some friends to some cabins, and they didn't have cell service, so I didn't really talk to him very much. Mm-hmm. But I got out on Saturday and went to the Pantry West, mm-hmm. celebrated their 13th birthday. I posted a picture because I was blown away by the size of the paella pan. Uh, that was huge. I saw that picture that you shared. That was crazy. I, it's like it's an art, apparently. To, I mean, you know. I'm not a cook, so, but it is apparently an art to make paella. Uh-huh. Like I only know one friend that has made paella that that I know of mm-hmm. at home, mm-hmm. and you need this special pan or whatever, and it has like it was so good, and they had a great turnout. Like we, <laughs> Amy, I went with Amy and Lars, mm-hmm. and they were they were like we're gonna get there right at twelve, and <laughs> because they were doing like. Uh, I think they had some some bags or something that they had said they were giving away to the first hundred people. I Did mean, y'all get them? Yeah, but there were only like five left on the table. What I'm were in the bags? You, some cookies oh. <laughs> and a coupon for like thirteen dollars off. Um, thirteen dollars off of dinner, mm-hmm. which you had to use it that night. Oh well. So, so we, I mean, unfortunately, we couldn't do, do that. Yeah. <laughs> but it, but it was the. I'm, I, I, I did not waste the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> they have good stuff at the pantry. It's one of my favorite yeah. places. It's one of those places that we always like take out of towners, you know, yes. because it's it's so good. I think by far of any restaurant in town, if you're going to think about like appetizers and entrees, they have so many appetizers that are good. Like a lot of times I can't even get past that. I ordered just appetizers for dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love their fish and chips, though. And they, and but they, they have, have great cocktails. Mm-hmm. They have great desserts. Mm-hmm. Like, I like their chocolate salami, which it sounds mm-hmm. weird, but it's just because it's, like, sliced it's so chocolate. Good. It's really, yeah. really good. And they are lovely people. Yes. yes. Lovely, lovely people. But anyway, that's what I did. And um, I really was going to invite you over to the house. I was going to call Emily <laughs> to come over. And then I didn't clean and I was not about to let you come over. Oh, my God. I mean, how many times have house. you been to my house when it started? Well, on Saturday. I promise I would beat you. Um, the, um, when there was a little break in the rain, Sophie and I got out and did some shopping. And um, so. Where'd you go? Well, we went to Box Turtle. We went to Ely's. We went to Steamroller Blues. We went to Tipton Hurst and Loblolly and the liquor store. That sounds so fun. We were doing like Easter um, yeah, like, errands right. because she needed kind of something to wear. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted to take like flowers to Easter yeah. breakfast. And then we took some, um, we got some macarons from Loblolly for oh, yes. Easter as well, which everybody was really excited about. Mm-hmm. Man, every place we went was packed. And really? I think it's because there was just like a break in the rain mm-hmm. for a few hours and mm-hmm. everybody got out of their house for yeah. the afternoon. I mean, it was crazy everywhere we went. So, um, so that's what I ended up doing Saturday afternoon anyway. So, so Matt left, um, this is another dirty thing about my house that was that day is, so he left Saturday and he had been washing some clothes and then all of a sudden he's in the car and he's like, oh yeah, the, the washing machine, there's something wrong with the washing machine. I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> so I always have some things that I've had to call the, the people mm-hmm. to come at the salon, but ours is so much more digital at home. Mm-hmm. Um, so it pops up like error code or, yeah you know and he's like well I looked up the error code and there's something in blah blah, blah. uh well the water was full like it, what, it didn't drain oh my gosh so by monday when he came home girl the shit was stinky <laughs> i was like about to throw up i was like i'm so glad those are not my clothes i know but um so you couldn't force it to drain no i tried while he was Man, gone that sucks. and he wouldn't do anything and um i 
he because he he you know like like he is he knows how to fix everything he's like right. i just didn't have time to look at it and if i can't fix it when i come home then we'll call somebody and um he fixed it oh that's good it was a nail that it was something in the draining but there was like an of course he's like you know there was a nail like those little bitty nails that you use to hang stuff all the time i was like i don't put nails in my pockets i was gonna say he goes oh yeah you're probably right i probably went around behind you and picked them up and put them in my pocket so it's still mm-hmm. your fault not really yes but not really that's what and according to yeah. him yeah but I was like, I don't, well, I'm not put a nail in my pocket. It would hurt if I said, <laughs> you know, that's kind of dumb. But anyway, I just don't leave dirty laundry, even with soap in it, Mm-mm. for overnight because it stinks. Oh, yeah, it gets mildewy real fast. Oh, and it was like, it was like you could go swimming in it, had that much water in it. So did he rewash his clothes and did they, did they yeah. get they, the smell out? He washed them, I think, a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet he did. Um, but yeah, he was able to fix it. And, it, you know, I'm going to sound like an old lady, but I always feel like things that when they're digital, they end up breaking. And then it's like the motherboard or the, (laughs) or same thing with hair. Like I've I've said this before Uh about like just curling irons and flat irons. It's like that original chi flat iron still have it. The very first one Uh wasn't digital. Now like everything's digital because you you change it. You can change the temperature and everything. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, That made me think of something. Oh my God. I finished Tiffany Haddish. Oh, you did? (laughs) Okay, she is so funny. I know. But, um... I think they have the heat on in here. I think they do, too. I mean, good lord. It's not hot. It's not it's hot. It's not cold. <laughs> um, so, Emily, I finished, like, uh, while I was cleaning the house, I was uh, literally listening to, like, two hours of it. And then uh-huh. by the time, that's about when Matt came home, and it was, all of a sudden, I ended up, I was, like, talking like her. <laughs> it's like, I listened to it for so long. But, um, you know, the end... When she's, like, talking about her friend Jada and them, I was starting to kind of get a little irritated because I was, like, because she did. Because times um, have changed. Yeah, times have changed. And, um, but but she's such an interesting person, and she's a good storyteller. You she's were so a great right. storyteller, yeah. I was very entertained by it. And did I tell you that I have pre-ordered the Matthew Perry audio book? Uh-uh. The book is out, I think, but the, but the audio book isn't out till November. That's weird. I've never heard of that. Maybe it takes Matthew that long to read it <laughs> himself. I hope he's re- reading it himself. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. And I think his the book is. I think the book is out, but I don't think the audio book is. I have no idea. Because um, I'm really hoping to hear some good friends. I'm sure he will. That reminds me of um, like did you you listen to Rob Lowe's audio book, didn't you? Um, his book, his biography was called um, "Stories I Only Tell My Friends." And it's fantastic. He oh, reads the audiobook. You should definitely listen to that's because another one you should definitely listen to. I think he's more interesting if I knew him. Hmm. I would be more interested in his story from like St. Elmo's Fire. That he tells all those stories. Okay. He tells Not all that's still in now. No, no, no. This, uh, this book is probably ten years old. Okay. Um, and um, he tells the stories of um, St. Elmo's Fire. He tells the stories of um, the uh, was it the Outsiders? <gasps> yes. Um, and because yeah. um, he talks about meeting Tom Cruise for the first time, like Tom Cruise's first movie, and like kind of the whole, like Tom Cruise had this attitude what? from the very, like from the very On first day, from from auditions. <gasps> like I mean, ew. Like, not not like ooh, but like more like he's just super confident yeah. and just like exuded this confidence, and nobody could like he would he would just ask for things like he like that's Charmer. what yeah yeah. He, has, he like he's like he was destined to be a star. It's like he, really really fascinating. He does have that like it's just the smile smirk kind of like mm-hmm. a I don't even I don't have it. Well, but I think you but, should definitely listen to that one. Yeah, it's good. I, I think it would be good. Um, so I'm looking for a new audio book that's entertaining. So maybe that. Um, I think that I would definitely recommend that one. Um, I also. And I know you probably did this as well, but, and I thought it was so fantastic, SNL this week with Lizzo. Oh, yeah. I love Lizzo. She was so She's great. Good. She's so great. I and again, so talk about somebody impressed. that just exudes confidence. She, you should also watch her interview with Dave Letterman. You know, Dave Letterman has that show mm-hmm. on Netflix where they're like long form yeah. interviews and he does one with her and um, it's fantastic as I well. I've been asking people, like, of course, now this, every, every time I say something like that, like, did you watch SNL? Like, and they're like... I'm not 
watching Saturday Night Live on Saturday. I'm like, I don't watch Nobody it on watches Saturday it on Saturday night. night. But um, it's like my Sunday morning. <laughs> but she was so <laughs> or what we call a Sunday morning replay, not Saturday yeah, Night Live. Yeah. But yeah, she's I, great. She was like, I think she was in every single skit. Mm-hmm. She was the musical guest, and she was funny. Mm-hmm. She was the whole, she was great. That the scene that the thing that they did with the TikTok. Oh yeah. I don't even. I'm not even on TikTok, but that was funny as hell. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It. I mean, it was so funny. So. All of it. All of yeah, it was were, good. They were good, and she's. She is a beautiful girl. Like she's wildly talented. Wildly talented. Beautiful. Yeah. Funny. Mm-hmm. Um, clearly mm-hmm. intelligent and uh, and just and it, don't give I lo- a shit. I love her confidence. I know. You know. Right. It's like you know. He, oh. She's like, she introduced herself as the musical guest, yeah. which the musical guests never do. Like, when they're doing both, they have someone from yeah. the cast introduce them. She's like, and welcome me. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny, though. Yeah, I mean, it was great. Everything about it was great. You know, I love You I can love tell they were having fun. Um, I, I just think that's really funny. You know? And her mom was in the audience, yeah. which was really cool. Yeah. And, um, and so, yeah, that was, it was great. Um, what else did you watch this weekend? Or this um, we week? have started watching Moon Knight. Have you started watching I, that last night? Okay, it is so not what I thought. I thought it was a movie. I didn't know it was gonna be a series. Yeah, yeah. I it mean, is good. It is. It's. It's like I'm, I told Matthew. I was like, I'm not sure I like it yet, but I'm curious. Mm-hmm. It, it, it. It has sparked my curiosity enough to want to continue How to many watch it. You, are you caught up or something? Are you, have you watched? Yeah, I've watched all the ones that are out. Well, I don't know what I day it comes out. There's only we've watched three. Let me put it that way. I think another one yeah. comes out this weekend. We're planning on watching Batman this weekend or the yeah. Batman this weekend because um, it is now out on whatever hbo or whatever hbo max whatever it is well um i thought that moon knight right Mm -hmm. excuse me um i thought moon knight was a movie and i have been sitting here waiting like okay when am i gonna have time we're both gonna sit down and watch this movie (laughs) and so i just finally was like I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this movie, and I was like, "Oh my god, it's a series! Yay!" <laughs> and that's why. That's why I haven't. I mean, like for weeks, I literally thought that it was a movie that we're uh-huh. gonna have to have a sit down and, yeah. and watch it. Yeah. It, which brings me to SNL. That skit they did with that music video they did, and they're uh-huh. every, apparently everybody thinks movies are too oh, long. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, mm-hmm. well, apparently, Batman is really long. It is. I think it's three hours. Might be like a Friday night, a Saturday night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's why we're saving it for the weekend. Mm-hmm. I watched a new show on Netflix about with um, Sienna Miller. Oh, the Anatomy of uh-huh. a Scandal or uh-huh. something like that. Is it good? I watched the whole thing really quickly. It's so all of them. It's a series, right? And all of them like are a, a, a limited series or whatever. Yeah, limited mm-hmm. series. It's it is good. It's not the best thing I've ever watched, but it's good. I love the guy that plays her husband, and right now I can't think of his name. I don't think I've ever really known his name, but he was in Homeland. Okay, he was the um, the guy who didn't talk, and he was like the badass that um, that he ended up getting uh, killed. Was he? Kind of Carrie's lover for a little while, yes. the dark-headed guy. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name right now, but anyway, I don't know his he's name, in it. Yeah. And it's a, I think everybody in it's British, but um, it was really good. Mm-hmm. I did not like her character very much because the story was. I mean, um, she plays the wife of a guy who like cheats, mm-hmm. and I'm not giving anything away because it's in the preview and also in the name. But she just seems so weak. Like I don't know. It's just like so. You're in the spotlight, and your husband is known f- like he's going going to trial for a rape, basically, mm-hmm. and and you're just like, "What do do? I'm just gonna." I don't know. I didn't like her character at all, and I mean, it, it's good ending, and it's mm-hmm. like there's other things, and I don't want to give anything away, but it's um, it's worth watching. I liked it, but okay. um, I, I mean, I've been I didn't I've like seen her it, character. At seen all. it showing up on my homepage, but I just haven't clicked on it because I just haven't been in the mood. I've been more in a. I've been reading a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just, I'm like, I can't, I just don't want to watch anything unless, I just only want to watch it if it's funny, basically. Although I did discover today that I thought that Minx ended a couple of weeks ago, but there's actually two more episodes. And so I watched episodes nine and 10 today. Oh, okay. And um, so I was really excited because 10 was the season finale. But like, for some reason, the way eight ended, I kind of yeah. thought it was the season finale. So I was really excited was to have good. two more episodes mm-hmm. of it. Um, I wasn't ready for it to end. I know. I don't, I, I don't like, I, I mean, it ended fine, but I 
didn't want it to end. So much penis. I mean, so much. I think that it's all prosthetics. I, 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 there's no way. Like that one scene where she's given the hand job. Oh, my God. I was like. Okay, so this is spoiler alert. This is so funny. And I'm like, oh, my God, that is so good. But she is literally, her husband's an asshole. Mm -hmm. And this woman's chopping up um, jalapenos. And then she uh, is handling the jalapenos and goes and gives her husband a Mm handjob. And it wasn't good. Mm -mm. I loved it. I thought (laughs) that was so great. I was like, that, that, I mean, I would never do that. Mm -hmm. But that was just like, that. Was yeah, torture. it was pretty perfect. Yeah, but like definitely the hard penis was a prosthetic. Like oh that was definitely because. Yeah. But um, but, but it just. But, makes but the I don't show. think so. I don't think all of them are. I think I think the, yeah. the extreme situation. Like I think the hand, I think the ones in these two episodes probably were. But I think the ones in the first episode probably weren't. We need to get like <laughs> we need to find out the truth on the on the because you know um, probably, they probably have done interviews about it. <laughs> but it is. It's a lot of penis. It is a lot of penis. <laughs> uh, I'm very envious that you went shopping. I've, I've, I'm I mean, I didn't buy itch. anything for myself, but I'm having the itch to buy some stuff. But I do not know what I would even want right now. I mean, like I cannot figure out my. I mean, I'm a style, but mm-hmm. it's like I tend at this time of year always want to gravitate toward bad dresses, mm-hmm. and then when I get a dress, it, there's for me, I kind of put more pressure on myself like oh i should put some self tanner on my legs because my they're gosh. so white uh-huh. and then that might take time and i didn't do it you know you know what i mean it's i just am like, all about a dress i'm like that's why i'm ready for this mm-hmm. weather to warm up so mm-hmm. that i can just make it easy it's yeah. like a one one piece wonder <laughs> well I mean, a dress or a jumpsuit i'm all about it but i am seriously considering doing a low buy not a no buy but a low buy challenge have you ever heard of this have you heard of a no buy or a low buy challenge it's like where you make rules for yourself like people do no buy challenges where like Mm -hmm. literally do not spend anything any money outside Mm -hmm. of like necessities Necessities and food and whatever yeah but like not going out to dinner not buying coffee not doing anything i'm like i can't do that but i could do like a low buy where i make a list and like i have to have rules text me and say if you buy it then well, no, buy it. that's part of the rules. Like you have to like, oh. in, like in the rules, you have to say like somebody else buying it for you is not allowable. Like just because you don't buy it yourself does not mean. So that it's like, for so how I'm, long? I don't know. Like, I'm, I mean, I think I would start small, like a 30 day type, but I can do 30 days. I mean, I'm th- I should probably make it more like a six month type situation. So the, you, are you going to have like a list of things? Because you're on the computer all the time so you see things that are impulsive right like right so techie stuff yeah so i've started making myself a list of like what the rules might be and like one of them is like no camera gear no technology gear like you have everything you need for the podcast you have everything you need for any kind of content that i would Mm want to create like i don't actually need anything but i see stuff i'm like but i could do so much with that i'm like you should make sure like so i've started i've started making out like what the rules would be and like i don't need any more shoes like i definitely don't need any more shoes and um but i keep buying shoes and you know like stuff like that like i mean and I think all clothes, shoes, accessories, bags, all like yeah. sunglasses, all of that stuff would mm-hmm. go in that category. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that, that's an easy one to say. You really don't need any of that stuff. Like I bought that stuff impulsively. I've I've gone on to say like one of my rules might be not a single Amazon purchase and oh, that anything so that you hard. want from Amazon you have to find locally, which would require me to go into a store to get it, which probably means that I wouldn't buy it. Like toilet paper and stuff. But you're no, does that mean so, you have to like cancel your subscription so i think that i would make an except that's a good point i think okay. i would make an exception for like toilet because we have toilet paper paper towels like laundry detergent mm-hmm. i have all that stuff on subscription so that would be different i think it would be anything outside of like my set mm-hmm. so set subscriptions on amazon so like like what did i have recently i mean i don't even i couldn't even tell you like oh, what i recently bought, I bought but like but there's always an amazon package coming and it's nine times out of ten i don't need it. or i could have gone to buy it locally and if i had waited to go find really, it locally i, I would have bought yeah. i wouldn't have gotten it so um so this is really so i'm funny. thinking about starting this on may 1st just to, just to great, wrap just to wrap that up i think okay. that's a great idea and i've actually thought of that many mm-hmm. many times this is a hard time because it's kind of the change of season when you but yeah i haven't but again but i haven't been like mm-hmm. i don't know what yeah tr- i am trying 
to think about purchases a little longer than being impulsive. Mm -hmm. Um, But I did impulsively buy something on Amazon, which I haven't opened yet. But Michelle was so funny because she moved moved into a new house, which Mm -hmm. Michelle's one of my assistants. And um, she was so funny because there was some kind of some some contractor. They did something where it stained like her tub, Mm -hmm. something and brand new. And she was like, I got magic racer. She got, Clorox clean. She got all the things that you know are the best cleaners. Mm-hmm. Was not even touching it. And she saw something on TikTok and it's called the pink stuff. Uh huh. I was like, Whoa, what? <laughs> I'm getting this. Uh-huh. So I ordered it and it came in. Well, of course, it's been sitting on my counter for two well, days. Do you actually have anything to use it on? I do. Like I want to. I want to use it on like the tub and the shower and stuff. Okay. So did she use stuff? the pink stuff and it worked? Yeah. She oh, said good. It got it out. Good. But which which for me too, I'm thinking of like some things at the salon too like Mm -hmm. but the 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 picture which i use visually i'm not looking at the ounces of Mm -hmm. what it is it's it comes in this tub and i swear to god i thought the tub was gonna be like this big and it came in and it's like oh my god yeah and that how is all how it always works it's like like, well this is like if it worked that well do i need gloves and is this gonna be toxic am i gonna like bleach (laughs) my fingers out and but i'll i'll let you know how well it is and yeah but um I feel like cleaners shouldn't count in because that's not fun. Well, it just depends. Like, because what, because one of the things I started thinking about was like makeup. Like, so Mm -hmm. I, there's this, um, like sunscreen, um, uh, goop. No, no, no. Well, it is, it's super goop, but it's, um, like a, like a CC cream almost. I mean, it's not, but whatever. Like, I use it instead of foundation. Sometimes I use it in addition to foundation. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm about out. And I'm like, okay, so I really, actually shouldn't replace that because I have three other products that can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I just happen to like that one best. So what I should do is use the products that I already have Mm -hmm. because otherwise they're just going to expire and I'm going to throw them away. So you should use what I have and then Mm -hmm. replace it. And Mm -hmm. so like, I'm trying to do that, like use what you have and then, and then replace. I've even got like makeup on the list. Like, yes, you can like, Anyway, I don't know. I'm working on the rules. It's been a, it's been a yeah. process, but that's one of them is, you know, only replace empties once there's nothing else yeah. left that can be used in its place. I've done that with makeup mm-hmm. um, in the past. Like I've because mm-hmm. I, I was buying makeup like crazy, especially yeah. lipstick and all that. Um, but I will. I used to always change foundations because I'm like, oh, there'll be a different one. Mm-hmm. When I finally found one, I, f- I will finish it. Actually, during COVID, too, I got sucked into some stupid thing on Instagram Mm -hmm. of some perfect foundation. And I was Mm -hmm. like, why in the hell did I do that? Because they can't match my color on line. Was it Il Makaj or whatever? Like, because I did did one. Maybe. It's it's way too, it's pale. It's like too pale for me, and I'm pale. um, Am I actually working on you? Don't give me, I don't want anything. (laughs) Don't give me anything, because um, I did one. I did one of those that was like an Instagram thing, but I I did not get on this. Like they try to force you into signing up for a subscription, mm-hmm. and I didn't do that. Yeah, um, but I do still have the tube of that, and that's one of the things. Like I'm out of my, I'm almost out of my other foundation. I'm like I'm gonna have to go and use this one because it works yeah. just fine. It's heavier than what I'm used to wearing, but right. um, uh, but yeah. So anyway, that's all. My- when you run out, when you run out of the goop stuff. Super goop. Uh, I mean, super goop. Mm-hmm. So, and I know what you're talking about because I think I have that too. Um, well, I use the matte screen. I also have the glow screen. So what I'm going to oh, do is like I when, I run, screen, yeah. when I run out of matte screen, I'm going to use the glow screen. Because the, so the glow matte s- screen just doesn't have the shimmer. Yeah, because it's, well, I find the glow screen to be a little bit too oily for me because I have an oily oh, okay. face anyway. Mm-hmm. And um, and I don't like shine on my face because I am oily. Yeah. Um, it, it, uh, but that's what I'm going to be using. <laughs> I'm going to use it till huh. it's up. Yeah. Um, mix them. Mm-mm. Well, no, because then I just run out of the other one. For, you know, yeah. like I'm, I'm, I'm too close to the end of the other one anyway. I get the Fab Fit, or is it Fun Fit Fab Fun Fab Fab well, Fit Fun? Wrong. But I t- chose not to have makeup in mine. So, well, I get it, but I, I, I have let it become a surprise. Yes. So, which mm-hmm. has been kind of fun. I've liked it. I actually need to go back and change it now. But, but, um. I have got most of the time the makeup. If there's if there's a like a bunch of eyeshadows, mm-hmm. I end up just giving it to somebody. Well, the the eyeshadows are like just crazy mm-hmm. bright. Didn't I give you a bunch? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like stuff get, I'm never gonna wear. I mean, honestly, in a whole palette, mm-hmm. 
do you really use all of them? I mean, it depends. I if, it's like, if it's like a neutral palette, I do. It just kind of depends on what it is, you I know? I will use maybe three of the most of them. And mm-hmm. then, um, and then I'm like, okay, well, those are the ones that I use. Like, then I just toss. I mean, it's like, it's such a waste, but then you can't find that color in a single. Just a single, I know. That is frustrating. I know. I, um, speaking of makeup, have you seen, do you probably get all the ads for like Jones Road Beauty, the Bobby Brown beauty, the one that she has started after, because you know she sold Bobby Brown and she did this. She did? Oh, yeah. It's not, she doesn't do Bobby Brown anymore. Well, I've seen that before. Like, I think I saw a lot of it during COVID, like during the shutdown, like I was seeing videos of it. Um, so I bought some. So what's her new line called? It's called Jones Road Beauty. And it's supposed to be like all natural and all the stuff. So um, I bought several products and I like them for the most part. But the like one that's kind of the signature is this balm. It's like um like a color balm. Like so you basically like it's like uh-huh. it's like cheeks. You know, they say you yeah. like on your lips or whatever, but it's cheeks. And I think it's really pretty, but it is and this is just my this is just me, but like I can't use I have to use powder. Yes. Um it's too I can't use cream or whatever. It's like too oily. Mm-hmm. I think it looks great, but you know what happens? Everything, everything is stuck to my face. And then yeah. I'm like, I, I'm trying, like constantly pulling yeah. it out. And like, I'm like maybe if, I've, you know, I was doing like a slicked back style, that would work. But like with my hair just loose. I've never been a every, And I feel, I feel like it's like smearing across my face. Yeah. It's not, but it makes me feel that way. Mm-hmm. And I love the way it looks, but I cannot wear it. I like the way it looks on someone that's like 20. Because they, yeah. you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I've heard. I'm not saying I don't. I haven't seen it on you. Right, 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 right. But well, you, I, I you, agree. You with have what seen you're it saying. on me. You just didn't know you saw it on me. <laughs> I agree, though. Like when it's it's like if you accident. I, I try not to touch my face too much, but it's like if you touch that, mm-hmm. if you just did this on accident or moved something, mm-hmm. it's like you probably would see like a finger mark. See, you don't actually. You don't actually. It doesn't move. It just feels like it is like so Mm -hmm. I and I don't touch my face but but my hair does get stuck in it but it's not moving around um, or I haven't noticed it moving around but it just I just don't like it just feels goopy you know yeah. and um don't get in the in the uh, windstorm and it's mm-hmm. like stuck to your face mm-hmm. but that's it's like kind of the, gloss for your face it is that's exactly what it is mm-hmm. and um and it's kind of her signature product but i but i have um an eyeshadow that i really like i have a couple is of it eyesh- cream too um no one i have two eyeshadows one is a powder and one is more of like a, a cream but it's kind of like a it's got like kind of like a shimmer uh-huh. so you can kind of just like put it on top i like both of those i have an eyeliner that i really like um and I also got like a concealer stick, but I never really use that. Yeah. Um, because I, I have a concealer that I like, I'm and pick, so uh, yeah. But I'm, I tried it. I did. I, yeah. You know. Hey, so. I mean, you might. Hey, you might even let, let. I wonder if Sophie would want that like thing. Listen. Never mind. Yeah. But um. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That I think that that challenge is very good. I, um, you should give it an update and let us know. How well, I haven't I haven't fully committed to it yet. It's just swirling around like, in my head. It's are you something going I may to do. not tell Matthew that you're doing it, like just in case you fail? Or well, I mean, I, don't, I, I have no doubt that you will not fail. Well, but, the thing is, like, I, I wish that if I told Matthew, he would help hold me accountable. But he does, like he won't. Yeah, and um, because that's that I would love that if he would mm-hmm. help me. You mm-hmm. know, like. But he, but he won't. So, which is like a blessing and a curse because just, he doesn't question any of the shit that shows up at the doorstep, you know. Because, and I would resent him if he did. Yeah. So oh, for sure. So, you know. But when I actually like, hey, can you help me hold me? He's not going to do it because he knows. He knows that I will resent him ultimately well, if just, he's like, if he's like, you know, holding me to well, rules. Start so. you a notebook of like. I've got things, a spreadsheet. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about your rules. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like a notebook of like your list, like your Santa's list of things. Oh, that I've you got see. a spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all on computer, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been I've been keeping a I've been of already. Things you want? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does it make you? I've been trying guesses? to do that from the beginning of the year, which I did good in January and February. Mm-hmm. I did not do good in March and April. 
I've, I've started, <laughs> which is why I'm now like, okay, let's do a reset for me. <laughs> I'll put stuff in. If I put things in my cart and save it later, I swear to you, I never go back to the save later stuff. I will always get back to it. Do mm-hmm. uh, I? If because a lot of times, if I'm real impulsive, I'll buy it right then if I think I really want it. But if it's a save, if I thought for a second a save later, mm-hmm. I swear I probably have a hundred things in my save later. Are you talking about Amazon? Mm-hmm. I've got carts all over the internet. <laughs> And I go and look at them and then I refine them and then I never like, and then one day I'll go in and I'll, you know, I'll have a couple of drinks and I'll be like, yes, Uh, I do need to spend this $600 right now. Like, which is just dumb, you know? So anyway. Yeah. Well, I was on a mission um, to find a cheaper exact version of the shoes that I purchased this oh, yeah. rubber clogs. Uh-huh. I was like, I'm going to find, cause I want it. I was like, I really kind of want a different color. Uh huh. But I'm not going to buy another one of that particular brand. It's like, uh-huh. there's got to be yeah. a cheap version out there. And These are the Bottega, right? Uh-huh. uh-huh. And there are some that are chunky, but they look like Crocs. Mm-hmm. And I don't want it to have the holes in it. I don't want it to... I mean, I'll, So are you going to sh- break down another, buy another No, car? I'm not. I, I, <laughs> no, 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 no. But you wear them all the time, right? I do. I love them. I mean, I, I, I like mean, so them a lot. I mean, so it'd be kind of worth it, right? No, <laughs> I'm not here to be a bad influence. <laughs> I'm the worst. I will. Talk, if you want something, I will talk you into. I will say you. Yes. I know. I know. I do the same. I don't even need somebody to talk me into things. I just talk myself into it. I mean, um, OK, switching subjects. I just need you to know I'm getting my bike ready for the weather. You know, because the weather's starting to get nice so that I can ride my bike up here again. And mm-hmm. I'm very excited about that. I've gotten a basket to put on the back of it. I've actually put the basket on the back of it. I bought a whole wash kit. I'm going to wash it and um, oil the chain and get it all clean and shiny. The electric bike? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know the brand of your bike, but. Do you want me to tell you? It's well, Super 73 is what it is. Oh, that's really cool. I'm pretty sure that's not what I was... I I was listening to something, like, I think I asked Alexa to tell me, like, the news, like, headlines Mm -hmm. or something. And there was some big electric bike company that was about to come out with this newer version. I was like, oh, no. It's like, Emily cannot hear that there is a newer version of her bike. (laughs) No, I mean, I've only had my bike for a year, and um, so I... uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I like. I've been getting. I took it for a ride the other day, um, and I just like reinstalled the battery. And for some reason, it was like I was riding, and it would like, like I was going up a hill, and it stopped. And I was like, "What is going on?" And like, you know, kind of to like pedal and push it up. And then I continued riding just to try to mm-hmm. kind of test everything out. And when I got back home, I was like, "Okay, what is wrong?" Well, I hadn't pushed the battery all the way in, so it hadn't engaged all the way. So when I was going up the hill, it kind of like slid out because the uh. battery's like ten pounds. Like the battery itself oh, weighs geez. like ten pounds. So when I was going up hill, it, it kind of slid out and just dis- like fully disengaged because yeah. I was really worried that yeah. I was like oh my god I'm sure my bike I is about to jump to, my bike is about to be out of warranty and not working or whatever oh. and um and that wasn't the case so um yeah so I've installed a rack in a in a basket and um and uh yeah I'm gonna mm-hmm. wash it this weekend when it's pretty and get the so chain all oiled and everything is it gas no 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 it's, oh, it's electric. electric okay yeah, yeah. so I've had so obviously gas prices, as we all know, mm-hmm. have gone up significantly. Um, and I was talking to a client the other day, and she was talking about how they had, like bought a boat at the end of the year, and how the lake gas prices. Ooh, I bet they're are already like, high. I think it. I think she said it was like ten or eleven dollars on the lake. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, girl, you just go park that boat that boat in the middle of the lake, and you don't move. <laughs> yeah. and if your kid get wants some, to go, get some rows. Get some, you get a oars, rose and oars. you just put your kid on something and you walk it around the boat. <laughs> I mean, that's insane. We should. Yeah, no, because, yeah, the price is already high on the lake anyway. So that's that's yeah. crazy. Um, And, you know, it's funny because it goes back into the whole RV thing because, mm-hmm. like, you, you know, we were talking, we're not going to get an RV, but I mean, it would be fun for a minute or really uh, logistically is not where right. we're going to put it, all that stuff. Anyway, but. You know, all those people bought all this recreational stuff during mm-hmm. COVID and stuff. And it's like now, like, gas for an RV, if it was like a driving one, or even just a pull it, would probably be Ooh. so expensive. I mean, gas for my car oh, I bet. for the Suburban is nuts. Yeah. I mean, like, I think I filled up the other day and it was 
over ninety dollars. And um, I was like, "All right, here we go." <laughs> it's a good thing I don't go very far. Oh my god, oh I don't drive god. very much. But the electric bike is looking better and better. Well, Matt, when we were we when we went to the Shangri La, and we took Matt the kayaks in Matt's mm-hmm. car. I was like, your car, because he has a 14, your 2014 car. And I was like, maybe it's time for you to, it's paid for. So we mm-hmm. were like, you know, it's nice to have not a car that you're paying on. Excuse me. <laughs> done that like three times today. <laughs> um, and he, um, I was like, why don't you just start looking? And then literally the next day on the news, they were like, okay, they had like some money person. They said, if, if you're. If you have to have a car, then do it. If you do not have to buy a car, now is not the not time. Not the time. I mean, because the supplies are sh- short anyway, I yeah, think. Yeah, and it, it just just the fact that everything is so much more expensive. Like, mm-hmm. you, people are getting more than they paid for new, I think. I swear mm-hmm. they're Same with houses. I know. But then you got to buy another one. And the interest rate, you know, it's just all this stuff. So it's like, we'll hold on to your car. Yeah. I mean, it's at 14 and only has 60,000 miles on it. Yeah. I didn't even have that. My sister just finally bought a new car, and her old car had 250,000 miles on it. Yeah. Like, I was like, girl, cannot believe you <laughs> let it go that far. Listen, but hey, listen. She didn't have to pay for it. I was going to say, think of all the money she mm-hmm. saved over the years. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's insane. It's insane. I mean... Matthew suggested, he's like, maybe you don't need the Suburban. I was like, no, no, I need the Suburban. <laughs> oh, I said something. I love I it so much. I was like, well, maybe we should t- trade my car in. And um, have you? I really like the new Suburbans and the Yukons. And oh, I've God, I, never, can't e- I can't even see you driving oh, a Suburban. Emily, I've never wanted any of that. Uh-huh. But it was like, man, I sure like all the room. <laughs> it is nice. Yeah. I it mean, is so nice. Two people. I mean, but it's the dogs. And mm-hmm. I don't know. Just because we did like, take two cars. The thing is, once you get used to the room, like, I don't know how you scale back. Like, I'm, I mean, it's I'm like so used. a big purse. Yeah, yeah. Or a big house or, you know, anything yeah. else. You just start to fill it up. And, mm-hmm. um, God, I love the room. It is very comfortable. Mm-hmm. We are going to drive in it to the Pine Bluff this week. We are. We're going to, like, that's a, that's such, like, a cool thing. There's six of us going, yeah. so we can all pile in the Suburban and go together since we're going, you know, yeah, out of town. Really yeah, and I think it, I think it will be really fun. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about what we're about to do after this. I know. Um, we're I know. going to Bella Vida, mm-hmm. and we are having an aura an aura photo taken. An take aura in. photo shaken, and like they read your aura. I know. I'm kind of nervous. Right? Aura, yeah. Aura, mm-hmm. aura. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Um, um, okay, well, sh- before we go, should we okay. do like oh, our? Yes, um, yes, yes. We've had this poured. We wanted to do like a comparison. Actually, Amy did. We wanted to do a comparison of the Saint Germain elderflower to the Rocktown elderflower, just to kind of like see what the differences were. Do you see the? Um, yeah. The floaties in that? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Like, I wonder if that's flower. This one is made with real honey, and I'm wondering if it has, I'm sure it's Arkansas honey, I would think. Um, hopefully. Um, pl- does it say? Can you read that? It, does, it just says, uh, handcrafted from all natural elderflower honey. Ooh, I want to talk about something really fast. <laughs> when you said, can I read this? hmm Have you seen the commercial for the prescription eye drops for reading close up. No, but I'm probably not their target. <laughs> well, I'm not their target. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I don't know what it was. I think, I don't know where we were, but all of a sudden it's it basically, this it's a prescription eye drop and it says, if you're starting to have trouble seeing close up or have trouble seeing at night, then this is free. I was like, do you get them? No, I want someone uh-huh. else to do it first. <laughs> so you, I'm not putting it, anything in my eyes. eyes. <laughs> but it only lasts, each drop lasts, lasts eight hours. Like, it's not it's like interesting. a, anyway. Let me know if anybody does it. I'm totally fascinated by this. Anyway, back to handcrafted in a small batches from all natural elder flower and honey. And I don't think, so. this bottle um, is so sticky. Um, fl- fresh floral aromas to taste. Great for mixing martinis, mules. Or your favorite cocktail. This is fresh hand-selected elderflowers impart a crisp 
melange of flavors and hints of citrus and tropical fruits. So we didn't have okay. much of this left, so we went ahead and poured that into shot glasses. So we're going to... The color is, is a little a, different. It's a, it's a little lot bit more, darker. It's like um, more golden. Yeah. It's very floral. Like a pear stuck in my mouth. And it's kind of thick. Hot. Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah. It's she really means temperature. She can't drink anything yeah. warm. It is interesting. I mean, it's it's so it's so concentrated. Like, mm-hmm. you, I don't think you, I personally, unless I put ice in it and, like, <laughs> iced it down to, like, melt ice in it. What I really want to which just dilutes like, the flavor exactly. <laughs> what I really want to just kind of sip on it. Um, okay, so let's try the Rock Town. So, okay. um, I don't know if I want to use that wadded up paper towel in your hand now. Oh, <laughs> if that was that was supposed to be a Achoo. clean a clean paper towel for us to wipe this out with. Okay. But Hold, please. was there? Are they still? The issue? Oh yeah, they're over here. You can just hand me my own. I can do my. Own. <laughs> I'll use my wadded up. <laughs> One that you've been. <laughs> You could pour it into that glass if you didn't drink oh, it yeah. all. That would have been smart. Okay, so now let's try a little of the... Hold on, let me do this one. I'll let you pour your own. because I just want to taste. I don't want a lot. But this one clearly is, a very, is um, a clear, but it has like like floaties in here and i'm wondering like is it part of the flower or you know you know i'm sure it's just it's cool i mean smells really good it smells more it smells sweeter to me okay totally different they are totally different this one tastes more alcoholy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does. It's not as syrupy. Yeah, like that one's this is thick. Definitely and syrupy. Thicker, mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder if, I mean, they're so different I can't even like but they have a great flavor. I'm just gonna add it to my drink. Yeah, that's totally different. Like I I mean I don't even really feel like you could use them interchangeably. Like, I mean, it feels no. like you would like have a totally, totally different flavor. Yeah, totally different. Um, yeah. Anyway. I mean, I like them both. Yeah, and I like it, them both. Like, I think it's. I think there's value to having both in your bar. Quite honestly. Yeah. I mean, God, hey. we're trying to reduce the number of things, and all I'm doing is <laughs> Cheers. amplifying. Cheers. Cheers.